baby step two for us will be long like really really long like it's gonna take us four years long yeah i wish i was kidding so needless to say mauricio and i needed to come up with some pretty awesome ways to stay motivated on this plan and so today i'm gonna go through a few of those including my bean jars Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio, my daughter Melina, and I are on a journey to pay off more than $300,000 worth of debt. And we are almost halfway. Halfway dance. Dun, 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 dun. You can't see, but I'm wiggling. I should not dance publicly ever. So when you're on a plan like this, and it's gonna be long and painful, and you want to reach your goals, you gotta figure out ways to motivate yourself. So what are some of the ways we do that? Number one, we look at our total debt monthly. Fortunately for us, we're able to make sizable payments every month. So our numbers drop significantly every month. So it is super, super, super rewarding for us to see the numbers going down. I have a whole spreadsheet, of course, cause I have a spreadsheet for everything where I track how much we paid and our total payoff. And this is what that is, but I haven't put in this month's debt payment, so you gotta wait until next week for that. Number two, bean jars. So I explained these last week. I got a whole bunch of questions when Mauricio started moving them around and I actually acknowledged. That just tells me that nobody ever pays attention to what's going on in the background, but um, these are my bean jars for the current snowball debt. So this is the amount we've paid and this is what we have left. I have not moved this month's. I'll move that for the video next week and it's going down. So each one of these beans represents a hundred dollars. Don't start this until you've already put a sizable chunk away because the first couple of months, well, not even the first couple of months, it was about the first year. This not a great motivator in the beginning. So best that you start this when you've paid off a significant amount or maybe you put your starting amount and then put what you've paid to date. Don't do it immediately or you'll be like, that's how we felt when we first started dropping them in. We also have our very large debt-free chart, which we've had on the wall in our bedroom. It's not pretty. It's done by scratch. It's not, you know, anything that anybody did to make it beautiful. But every month we cross off the amount we paid and you can actually see that in recent months we've been able to pay off a lot more than we paid off in the beginning. And we are just now starting to see like progress, true progress. This is another one of those things that you don't really wanna start in the beginning because it can be a little demotivating. But when you get to, you know, a quarter of the way down, go ahead and do it all at one time. Learn from my mistakes. This one's very new. So there is a Facebook page called Debt Free Charts and they have a website and I'll link that down below. They put up these adorable debt free charts and you can see them in the debt free community. I know a bunch of YouTubers that use them. Well, we downloaded a bunch of those. They're awesome and I absolutely love using them. We have them in a notebook and we have them all crossed off and we it's fantastic. Fantastic. We use their bank loan, car loan, visa, debt free. There's one other student loan. The fifth most important way we stay motivated. I'm not even kidding you when I tell you we use undead it to keep us motivated. I put in all sorts of like, if we pay this much this month, then you know, we'll be debt free in this date. If we put this much in this month, we'll be debt free in this date. And I recently did that for something that we know that's coming up where we might have some additional cash and the various different ways we can use it. And then I you know, whipped off an email to Mauricio saying, do you know that if we did this, we would be debt free by this date? Those little like motivators really, really help us keep on track. So those happen monthly. I do that kind of stuff every month when I'm doing the budget for next month and it works out really well. So what do you use to stay motivated? I know that you are paying off all your debt too. And I'm wondering what else is out there? What sort of creative things I've heard of tons and tons of different ways people stay motivated. 
I mean, for example, YouTube. YouTube is a fantastic motivator. And the YouTube community and various Facebook groups for paying off debt, it's always awesome when you can, you know, immerse yourself with like-minded individuals. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.